So, you want to mod Halo. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take a pelican from a campaign level in Halo Reach, import it into Forge World, add it as a vehicle on the Forge list, and make it a completely flyable and drivable vehicle. I'll be assuming you did watch my last tutorial and have a decent understanding of how tag edits work in assembly. I'll also be using Forge Mode to accomplish this. Forge Mode will be coming in an update soon to Halo Reach if it's not out at the time you're watching this, and if it's not, Click the link in the description to get the Forge Downloader mod off of nexusmods.com. So let's fire up assembly. First things first, let's find out what the campaign map we need to open is. Go at the top to help, and then map names. Then on the right side, click Halo Reach, and under campaign, I know for certain tip of the spear has a pelican, which is known as M35. So we can close the map names box. So let's go hunt for M35. In my Halo Reach maps folder, I can find it here near the bottom. Perfect. Now that it's open, we'll click tags at the top. And since we already know what we're searching for, we'll search Pelican. At the bottom, we'll see this tag VEHI, which of course is short for vehicle. Right here, we can find the main Pelican vehicle. We won't be doing any edits to it. Instead, we'll be right clicking on the tag in the list and pressing extract. Now, let's create a new folder to put all of our extracted tags. I'll just call mine tags to keep things simple. Inside there, I'm going to name this pelican, pelican underscore vehicle. I'll save it there, and after a moment, the actual pelican itself will be saved to a file. Okay, now we can close M35 since we got what we needed, and let's open up Forge World, which as always is forge underscore halo. We'll go to the tag section once again, and now at the bottom left, we'll click Import. We'll find our Pelican tag in the Tags folder, and we'll open it. You'll get this prompt with Import Options. Leave everything default as there's no good reason to change anything. It will take some time, but after a little while, the Pelican will successfully import. Great, the Pelican's in. Just to double check, let's search Pelican. And of course, there it is. In the Vehicle section, the Pelican is now on Forge World. Now, let's add it to the Forge menu. We're going to search for a very important tag called SCNR, which is sort for scenario. We'll go into this tag, and this is a very important tag that I'll happily cover in future tutorials, but for now, let's just search the word sandbox. We'll click next, and that should take us to the sandbox palette. This is actually the Forge menu here, and anything you add to this or remove to it will be seen in the Forge menu in game. At the top here, we have the Sandbox Palette main block, and if we scroll through it, we can see there's Covenant Weapons, Armor Abilities, and then the Vehicles section. Below that in the entries, we see all the other vehicles, Banshees, Falcons, Ghosts, and the final here, Entry Variants, has the actual vehicle tag that is spawned. So what we want to do is make a new entry right here in this second block. We'll click the cog icon, click Add or Remove Elements, and click the plus to add a new blank entry. Clicking Reallocate will add it for us. This new entry will be at the very bottom of the list here. Now, as you can see, it's completely blank and there is no entry variance block. And we need that, so we'll create one here once again by clicking the cog icon, add a remove elements, make it one, and reallocate. Now we have a brand new entry to the Forge menu in the Vehicles section. So, we need a string that has the word Pelican. Luckily, I have one just for that. It is FF underscore Thorage underscore Pelican. This will show up in the menu as the word Pelican. We'll put that in the box and entry variants as well. Although it is not required, everything already has it, so it's good for just making things clean. The palette object we want has a null tag. We'll click it, scroll near the bottom, and look for the vehicle tag, since we'll, of course we'll be spawning the Pelican vehicle. Once we've done that, we'll click the drop down box to choose the specific vehicle we want. Somewhere near the bottom, we will find the Pelican. Awesome. Now we have successfully added the Pelican vehicle to the Forge menu. We'll save, but of course the Pelican is still not flyable. Let's load up into game and see where we're at. Okay, here we are in Forge World. I'm using a controller because I prefer the control scheme. So let's press the menu button. We'll go to the vehicle section and scroll to the bottom. And we should see, aha, the Pelican on the menu. When we spawn it, it'll work and everything should look pretty much identical to what you see here. We'll place it down. And of course, if I were to try to fly this, it won't work quite yet. No prompt, and holding RB does nothing. So, we're making progress. Let's pause the game and go back into assembly. We'll be poking the rest of the changes. 
In assembly, we have our Pelican vehicle here. We could search it and go to that tag, but instead we'll take a shortcut and click the go to button here to quickly open the Pelican vehicle. Now we're going to search in this tag seats. There's a whole bunch of different entries with the word seats. We're going to click next until we get to this block here that is simply labeled seats. Now, as you can see, there is a whole lot of seats on the Pelican. Most of them are cargo for the back, but this first one is the driver. There's just two simple things we need to do to make this flyable. In the flags here, it is of course ticked as a driver and has a third person camera, but if we scroll down, you'll see invalid for player. This is what prevents you from flying the Pelican in campaign. We will untick that. And the final thing we have to do is set the seat animation to something that the multiplayer Spartan actually has. The seat animation Pelican D is in no multiplayer map, so we'll swap it out for something that we know is the Warthog driving animation which you can find as warthog underscore D. Now, if we poke this into the game and hop back in, we have successfully allowed ourselves to fly the Pelican. Now we can go around Forge World in our Pelican and basically live out what is most likely a childhood dream for you. I hope you have fun flying your Pelican and I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe for more modding tutorials and modding content. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me and what I'm doing, so that's in the description as well if you'd like to get exclusive access to behind the scenes of my mods, as well as early access to content that I haven't quite finished yet. So if that interests you, once again, link is in the description below. That's all for today though, hope you enjoy the video, and goodbye.